Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another bonus episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Those people that are following football, you guys know that racism is a big problem in Italy. Yes, that's right. The land that's given us pizza, pasta and Super Mario is hella racist. You've got video evidence that there were clear monkey chants at a black player as he was about to take a penalty. And it seems that once again, Italy are turning a blind eye. But as is increasing now, racism is becoming a problem in football. There's monkey chants. Defender Danny Alves was preparing to take a corner when a banana got thrown at him. Monkey chants and, uh, and uh, people spitting at me. So when the biggest football board in Italy, Serie A, decided to come up with an anti-racism campaign, yo, this was something that was much appreciated, made that finally these guys are doing something. But when you guys see what they actually produced, honestly, I don't know what happens in these rooms when they're deciding and finalizing these artworks. You are a dirty individual, sickening human being. Because clearly there were a bunch of people that were okay with this, allowed it to be printed, then displayed, then the guy who actually created it was defending it. What? Yeah, I don't know how many brain cells were actually used to come up with this poster. I would say any amount more than one is pushing it. <laughs> a short while back, here was another controversy on the Italian front page. Again, Black Friday and having two black players there. How on earth is this okay? I'm not gonna say much. I'm not gonna say much. Fix up. You know what the problem guys is? I'm gonna let Gary Neville say it. He used to play for the England team and he had the guts to say this. If you're watching the Prime Minister's debate last night where a Prime Minister's talking about basically migration into this country and people coming into this country and having to have a certain level, it, it fuels it all the time. And we know the sort of comments Boris Johnson's made against black people, saying they've got watermelon smiles and calling them pickaninnies. This is the state of the leadership what do you expect from the uneducated fans? And this guy was saying, yo. I'm trying to say that we've all come from monkeys. So you calling someone a monkey means that you're calling yourself a monkey. <laughs> Mate, if you're a racist, you're clearly not using this. Mate, do you really think that these people think? They don't use more than one brain cell per task. Why on earth do you think that they're gonna ring you up and say, yeah mate, what, what did you mean by that? I, I'm just about to beat someone of colour, but I thought, let me ask your interpretation of this mate. You know what guys, Alhamdulillah for Islam. For you to know that something is truly from Allah, from the Creator, it has to be timeless and it has to be practical. And Islam is the only religion that teaches us anti-racism practically. Five times a day we pray. We go to the mosque. It doesn't matter which country you're from, what culture, what language, what level of education. Mate, you stand shoulder to shoulder next to each other. You bow in front of Allah. Charity is 2.5% for everyone. The kalima, the declaration when you accept Islam, is the same for everyone. Hajj, two white sheets of cloth. Everyone goes no special treatment for anyone. Even when you look at certain companions, you look at certain prophets, you look at certain pious people. We've got people from all different races, but you have certain faiths that proclaim there for everybody. Their depiction of God is white. The Last Supper, everybody there is white. So how is that speaking against racism? Or other religions? that you have to be born into. If you're not born into it, sorry mate. But Alhamdulillah, all praise be to Allah for Islam. Islam discourages racism, but that doesn't mean that Muslims discourage racism. Remember Muslims apply Islam and we may do so successfully or unsuccessfully. That doesn't mean that Islam is promoting racism. 
because of course racism is present in our societies and we do need to get rid of it. Brushing it under the carpet is not going to help. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, share a few thoughts. Hope you guys benefited. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time. Assalamualaikum.